Hello everybody, Brick Smarty here. This is the latest in my video series based on the hugely popular LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Deep Sea Creatures set. Since part 5 I've created 6 completely new MOCs from this set and they're all sharks. I've already made 2 other sharks so part 6 is going to be all about, yep you guessed it, sharks. So the new sharks are a Mako shark, an angel shark, a thresher shark, a goblin shark, a white tip reef shark, and a basking shark. I'll show you all these new sharks and I'll recap the others. The hammerhead and whale sharks, the sawfish, and even the great white shark from the original set. In fact, do stick around because I have a modification of the great white shark with improved fins and tail to share with you all. So here's the Mako shark. The Mako, or blue pointer shark, is a large mackerel shark that can reach up to 4 meters or more in length. It's more streamlined than the grey white and every part of this alternate model is different from the original. I was really pleased with the Mako's dorsal fin and this is the fin design I used to modify the great white model too. And I'll show you how to build this shark step by step later in the video. Next up we have the angel shark. Angel sharks are a group of sharks that are halfway between sharks and rays. They are flat bodied and inhabit sandy seabeds. Sadly, many angel sharks are endangered species. In fact, most of these sharks are. I had a lot of fun developing this angel shark with its wide pectoral fins, creating an interesting shape from the plan view and two small dorsal fins positioned well to the rear. Coming up with a way to attach barbells around the mouth was a particular challenge but I came up with a nice solution in the end. The angel shark is very different from the other sharks, so this is the second shark I'll show you how to build step by step later in this video. Then we have the thresher shark, which has an amazing hunting technique. The thresher shark is a large deep ocean shark that uses its long whip-like tail to stun or kill its prey, hence its nickname, the Indiana Jones shark. There are a few thresher shark species, some of which are endangered due to overfishing. These sharks all have different fins, body and head shapes. The thresher shark has a smaller dorsal fin but longer pectoral fins. This one has a few more teeth on display, not as much as the great white, and I've used the Technic connectors and pins without the reflective yellow bar inserted down the middle to create a very black eye that you see in fish that inhabit the low light conditions of the deep sea. It was a challenge to find enough pieces to create the extra long tail, but I'm very happy with how it turned out in the end. Next up we have the goblin shark. The goblin shark is one of the weirdest and possibly one of the ugliest fish in the sea. Its jaws appear to detach and shoot forward when it catches its prey. I wouldn't be surprised this is where they got the inspiration for the alien queen's snapping jaws in the alien movies. In this model I've created jaws that slide forward to replicate the goblin shark. I wasn't even sure if it would be possible given the constraints of the available pieces in the set so I was pleasantly surprised how well it turned out. So let me just show you how the goblin shark submodels go together. So we take this middle section with the eyes on it and insert the sliding section with the upper jaw into it at a bit of an angle like this. Then take the upper forward section with the dorsal fin and attach it to the middle section to trap the moving jaw section in place like this. Give it a really good squeeze down to keep the jaw from sagging down. Then you can add the lower jaw like this then the rear section of the body, then the tail and the pectoral fins and finally the little stand. So this is how the jaws slide forward and open. The further forward you go, the wider you can open them. I will post the full instruction video for the goblin shark but before I do, you're going to have to do something for me. Tell your friends, share on social and subscribe. It's free and you can change your mind later. As soon as I hit 5,000 subs, I will post the Goblin Shark and Thresher Shark build videos. So next up we have the White Tip Reef Shark. The White Tip Reef Shark is one of the few sharks I've seen up close in my limited scuba diving experience and it certainly was a memorable encounter. Not scary, it just looks awesome. Anyway, I've done the best I can with the parts available and I'm happy with how it turned out. Of course it has things in common with some of the other sharks, but also many differences. 
The tail, dorsal and pectoral fins and head are all different, even a few teeth showing this time. This is the third shark I'm going to show you how to build step by step later in this video. I'm also going to show you how to upgrade the alternate model with just one white 1x1 one one cheese wedge slope, so stick around for that too. OK, so the last of the six new sharks is this basking shark. It was a last minute suggestion that came in, so thanks for that. At first I thought, but I've already done the whale shark, do we really need the second biggest filter feeder shark as well as the biggest? But then I took a closer look and I thought the basking shark looks insane. The mouth is so wide and very different from the whale shark. So that's why. This shark has quite a pointed snout with the eyes set quite far forward and then the mouth just balloons out underneath with rows of gills behind. It has quite a pointy upright dorsal fin so I created another completely new fin for this shark and quite a big tail. Well that's all the new sharks so here's a quick recap of the other ones. Here's the hammerhead shark. This is one of the few sharks you're ever likely to see in a large school. Although they do tend to hunt by themselves at night. The interesting anatomy of these sharks place their eyes far apart, which improves their vision and ability to find prey in the ocean. And here's the whale shark. This huge shark is the biggest shark there is. A slow moving filter feeder, a gentle giant. I did the best I could to create the flavor of this huge fish with its wide head and smooth curves. Of course, it does lack some of its impressive length and the little white spots but it's still been one of the most popular build videos I've released from this set. Well, let's not forget the sawfish. You could argue this is more of a ray than a shark, but closely related enough not to be left out. Finally, an alternate, I get to use all the teeth. I was also really happy how the ball and socket joint helped me get the eye at the right angle, and even the fin shapes turned out really well. It is quite a flat model, so there are quite a few bricks left over, but if it's any consolation, it is quite long. And here's how it all began. Here's the great white shark from the official LEGO 31088 set. I love this model, but I did think the dorsal fin wasn't quite right and the pectoral fins looked a bit flimsy. So let me show you how to do this modification. Let's start by pulling the submodels apart. Let's get all the little pieces we need that were left over in the original set. We're going to borrow these little gold round plate dots that we used as coins in the treasure chest. And there was also one extra dark blue square one by one plate piece and one little cheese wedge slope. Now we're going to borrow a couple of small dark blue plate pieces from the head and replace them with the little gold dots. Let's just remove the fins and the tail and we're going to take a couple of these plate slopes from the rear of the body section and replace them with a one by two plate and a couple of the dark blue cheese slopes which helps to round off the rear of the body. Then we'll use one of the plate slopes to rebuild the new dorsal fin, like this. Now this next bit is optional, but I didn't like the flimsy pectoral fins, so I borrowed an extra 1x3 dark blue plate piece from the tail to thicken them up like this. And I used the remaining pieces to rebuild the tail like this. If you have a couple of extra parts, you can just change the dorsal fin. But if you want to just use the parts from the set, I hope you agree this is still a nice upgrade. All of these MOC instructions can be purchased from rebrickable.com and the link is in the description below. Okay, so now let's start building the Mako Shark.
Well, that's the Mako Shark. Let's build the Angel Shark now.
So that was the angel shark. Let's build the white tip reef shark now. Okay, that was the white tip reef shark, but if you have just one of these little white cheese wedges like this, you can modify this design and make it even better. So all you do is, there you go. And that's it. Each of these models can be built using the pieces from one LEGO 31088 deep sea creature set. If you want to build any of my 20 alternates from this set, they are available on Rebrickable. Just follow the link in the description below, or just search Bricksmart Workshop on the site. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You made it this far, so why not leave a comment or give us a like? Click here to see more digital LEGO 3-in-1 creator builds, or here if you'd like to learn how to build LEGO digitally. And don't forget to subscribe to Bricksmart Workshop if you'd like to see whatever we come up with next.